Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. It's been a little over a week since Barely Art sent me their glue samples. So I thought I would do a review now that I've used it in several of my videos. I know some of you have noticed that bottle of glue. They currently sell three different sizes. There's the 11 ounce refill, there's the four ounce bottle, and then there's also the two ounce bottle. In this video, I'm gonna compare Barely Art Glue to Art Glitter Glue, since that's what I was using before. I know there are lots of other liquid glues on the market, but these are the only two I'm going to be talking about in this video. So here are the two four ounce bottles side by side. This is the second bottle of Art Glitter Glue that I've used. My previous bottle lasted me just about a year. I haven't opened the four ounce Barely Art Glue. Instead, I decided to start with their two ounce size. And I really like this small size. As I mentioned earlier, I've only been using the Barely Art Glue for about a week. But one thing I really like is the bottle is see-through. So you can tell how much glue you have left over. So I only have a little bit gone so far, but you can't tell with the Art Glitter Glue. You can sort of feel it when you're holding the bottle, but otherwise you can't tell. The fine tips for each of the glues are very different. The Art Glitter Glue, you have to really push and twist it onto this black cap. And it's difficult to tell if you really get it on correctly. But with the Barely Art Glue, it comes with the cap. So you can see my bottle already has the pin in it. So here's another cap. It also comes with this container with three different tips. And it's really easy to change between those tips since it just twists on. So that was it. I just twisted on that ultra fine tip, super easy. Now comparing the size of the tips, the Art Glitter Glue and the Barely Art Glue, they're basically the same size. Now the Barely Art Glue does have the other tips. So there's the long one, which is the fine tip. And it's really nice. It has this green tip, which is the storage tip. So that's what you'll put on if you're not using your glue. And then it has the nice little container to put all those pieces away and not lose anything. Now each of the glues will have the pin. So this is very important to not have your glue clog. Now the length of the pins are very different. So the Barely Art Glue, you can see the pin goes just beyond that black cap. But the Art Glitter Glue pen only goes about halfway. So that's not as effective to help it not clog. So you can see the difference in the length of the pins. Now I haven't had that Barely Art Glue quite as long, but on the Art Glitter Glue, the little bead at the end of the pin has come off a couple times for me. So it's a little frustrating because then I have to open up a new package or I need to find some pins that don't rust when you put them in the glue. Something that's very important for both of the glues is you need to wash or clean the pin and also the tip after every single use. This will help prevent it from clogging. So I usually just have a baby wipe on hand and then I wipe it off real quick between every use. Now, as far as the flow, they're very similar. Easy to manage how much is coming out. The Art Glitter Glue might be a little watery compared to the Barely Art Glue, but it would be just a slight difference. So here's the Barely Art Glue. Again, very easy to control. I always use the ultra fine tip. That's just what I prefer. You can use that larger tip, the fine tip on the Barely Art if you need more glue, but I prefer the ultra fine. I did a few comparisons between the two glues. One is I just put some glue onto some red cardstock and let it dry overnight. So they're very similar. They both dry clear, which is great. The Art Glitter glue might have a slight matte finish, compared to the glossy on the Barely Art Glue. One thing I noticed is the Art Glitter Glue is smooth, but the Barely Art has a slight tacky feel to it. And after sitting for, I think it was a little over a day, it still has that very slight tacky feel. I also took two pieces of paper and wanted to see if they ripple at all. So this is just copy paper, so it's very thin. 
I put it all over the back and then glued it onto some cardstock. And I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, you can see the little squiggle line where I did the glue. You can see it on both of them, but neither of them are rippled. So they're very smooth. Now I wouldn't normally be using such thin paper when I'm making cards, simply because the quality isn't very good. But between the two, they're very comparable. Next test, I wanted to see if the adhesives were flexible. So I also did one with my ATG. So I put it on the back of this cardstock. You can see it's very flexible. There isn't any stiffness at all. And that's usually what I would use for the larger areas when I'm making a card. So with the Barely Art Glue, it is much stiffer than the ATG, but it is still flexible. And for the Art Glitter Glue, there's less flexibility. So it's pretty stiff, but it's still flexible enough that if you're gonna mail that card, it's gonna have that little bit of give. Although if you start adding a lot of layers to your card using liquid adhesive, it is gonna get fairly stiff. One final test, I wanted to see how strong the glue is using sequins and also some of the glass pearls. So I have the Barely Art glue. I used two different sequins and then also this larger dewdrop. I let the glue dry for about four hours, so this wasn't overnight. Now I did have to wiggle a little, but the sequin did come off fairly easily. Now that dewdrop isn't budging. It is on there very secure. And then the same with that one in the middle. I was able to peel it up, but I had to work at it. So if this went through the mail, those sequins may not stay on. So now the art glitter glue, the same thing. I was able to peel up the sequin. I did have to work at it. I think in general, if you're going to use it, the sequins will stay in place. I was also able to peel up that smaller sequin, but the dewdrop is pretty secure. I think if I pulled hard enough, it would come off. But overall, I'm fairly confident those would stay in place. Just don't go tugging at them like I was doing. A few other observations between the two glues, and remember these are all my opinions. The Art Glitter Glue seems to dry a little bit faster than the Barely Art Glue, and I'm talking maybe a few seconds. Now this isn't really a big deal. You'll have a little more wiggle room if you're using the Barely Art Glue, or you're going to have to hold it a little longer with the Barely Art Glue. And I've noticed that if I'm using specialty cardstock. I've also noticed a very, very slight sweet smell from Barely Art Glue. I mean, it's very subtle, so I don't know if everybody would notice it, but it's only when it's wet. The Barely Art Glue label does say it's non-toxic and Art Glitter Glue doesn't. It's fun that Barely Art Glue also has a little giveaway. So if you tag them on Instagram, you have a chance to win a free bundle. So that's really fun. I haven't seen anything like that from Art Glitter Glue. Now, as far as the price comparison, they're fairly close. The Barely Art Glue does seem to be a little bit less expensive on Amazon than Art Glitter Glue. And many of the Art Glitter Glues don't come automatically with that fine metal tip. But it looks like all of the Barely Art Glue does come with the three different tips. I think both of the glues are great. Strong adhesive, they dry clear, they do their job. The twist off tips on the Barely Art Glue are enough for me to say that one is my favorite though. I do want to say thank you to Barely Art for sending me their sample box of glue so I could try it out. I do have links provided in the description box if you want to purchase the glue yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.